Now, the second speech in the Asian parliamentary debate after the Prime Minister's speech is the first speaker of the opposition team, and that is the leader of opposition. Now, the leader of opposition's job in many ways is very similar to the Prime Minister's job. But there are some crucial differences. So, let's look at those, at what he or she must do. Now, as leader of opposition, you have essentially four responsibilities. Firstly, you must respond to the definition and the setup. Secondly, present your case and your position. Thirdly, rebut the arguments of the Prime Minister. And lastly, present your own arguments. Firstly, responding to the definition and the setup. Now, in this part, what you need to do, you know, is you, is you need to address how you and the other team or the Prime Minister are approaching the problem. They've just told you how they've defined the debate. Do you agree or do you disagree with that definition? Would you like to provide some additional clarity to that definition? Would you like to explain some ideas that maybe you, know, that you feel the Prime Minister hasn't explained well enough? Now, it's essential for you to find some kind of common ground, right? So you can agree or disagree with some things, but you must agree with some other things. So, for example, if we're using the same debate about banning smoking in the university campus, if the Prime Minister contextualizes the debate and says, oh, there are many, you know, the universities are dirty and they're filthy and there are all these people smoking everywhere, and that's the problem, you can approach that and you can say you agree that people are smoking in the university, but you don't think the problem is as huge and as dire as he makes it out to be. Right? So you think the problem, so you're, you're trying to disagree on the context or the issue in which the Prime Minister uh, set out the debate. Right? So that's the first thing, responding to the definition and to the setup. And remember, as much as you want to disagree with some things, you must agree. Without any kind of common ground, the debate will never happen. The second thing you do is you present your position and your team case. And this part is almost identical to what the Prime Minister does. Right? So if you have a policy, you should present the policy. You should explain how you are going to approach the debate and what your essential agreements or disagreements are. What are you going to prove? What are you not going to prove? Okay? It's okay to make some concessions, but you cannot concede the main principle of the debate. Right? Thirdly, you have to rebut. And this part is completely new. Every speaker in the Asian parliamentary format should respond to the speaker before them. Now, the Prime Minister has no speaker before him, so obviously he can't have any rebuttals. But as leader of opposition, you must respond to the Prime Minister, right? So you must say why the Prime Minister's arguments, specifically to the arguments or to the policy or to the position, is wrong or ineffective or what are the problems with what he or she wants to argue, okay? So those are your rebuttals. Finally, like the Prime Minister, you must also present constructive argumentation. You must say, now these are my arguments. So in your position part, uh, where you're presenting the team case, you would have said what you are going to talk about and what your second speaker is going to talk about. So at this point, you should deliver those arguments. Okay. Now, doing rebuttals and arguments can be a lot of things to do. So the leader of opposition needs to be very responsive and be able to change and to adapt to what is happening in the debate. Right. Sometimes if your argument is also a rebuttal, because it serves to rebut the other arguments, you can tell people that. So you can say, I'm going to rebut his arguments when I talk about my argument. And then later, when you talk about your argument, you can say, this argument defeats their argument on the other side. Right? We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that, or you can watch an example to see how these things work and how the leader of opposition uh, structures his or her speech. But basically, it's a quite similar to the Prime Minister's speech. You need to respond to the definition and the setup. You present your own position and your case, how you are going to approach this debate. Then you have rebuttals. You engage the Prime Minister's arguments, and finally, provide your own arguments.